you're driving along and you get a beep and a warning light flashing up on the dashboard. Should you ignore it? Is it something that's not that important or should we stop the car immediately and investigate? Well, in my own experience, my Audi will give you exactly the same beep if the washer bottle is empty or if the engine has just run out of oil and it's just about to seize up. It helps as a driver to know what these warning lights actually mean. The user manual is certainly useful for this. I have an instance where I was overtaking on a hill and I had this loud warning beep and the light flashed up on the dashboard. It was actually just my washer bottle and the hill and the acceleration was just enough to trigger the sensor that the washer bottle was empty. But the icon kind of looked like an exploding engine and it really worried me at the time. And I ended up pulling over at the side of the road and investigating and I felt a bit silly working out that it was just the washer bottle that was empty. So it really does pay to just familiarize ourselves with these warning signs on dashboards and some of them indicate quite serious problems and we're going to be discussing how to use an OBD2 port diagnostic tool to get to the bottom of these problems. We're also going to see how some of these problems can escalate if we just ignore them completely and turn into much more expensive things that we need to fix. As a general rule of thumb, we should not ignore warning lights on the dashboard, but some don't require immediate attention, whereas others do. At the end of this video, hopefully we'll be in a position to determine whether a warning light is serious or whether it is something we can safely ignore. It's always worth investigating why these lights have flashed up on the dashboard. If you've got a diagnostic tool that you can plug into the OBD2 port, you can download the error codes and get a feel for what is failing in the car. It's often something quite minor. It may just be a sensor in the car or a, a connection that started to break. So this in itself is quite a minor problem to fix, but if if the ECU, the car's computer, is getting wrong information, it can lead to rough running conditions, which can damage other components. For example, if the engine was running rich, it'd be dumping unburnt fuel into the catalyst, and that will degrade the catalyst, and that's a very expensive replacement cost. So keep an eye out for these warning lights. They're not just there for the sake of it. They're not a decoration. They do generally indicate that there is something you as a driver need to pay attention to with the car. And if a light goes out, it doesn't always mean the problem has gone away. It may just be the early start of a problem that needs to be investigated. So don't ignore lights that have come on and gone off. I think we all tend to hope for the best. We don't want to have expensive repair bills, but by avoiding that early diagnosis, it can lead to much larger repair bills further down the line. So thanks for watching. Please boot the like button. That really does help us to get out there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so because we'd love you to stay tuned. And I've lined these videos up for you that you should find really interesting. Thanks for watching. See you in these next videos.